In mass spec, you hear a lot about quadrupoles, but most people don't get to actually see one. And so I've assembled some quads from different instruments, and uh, let's take a closer look at them. This is a quadrupole from a SIAX triple quad instrument, and as you can see, the length is about 21 centimeters. And if you take a look through here, okay. it's a typical quadrupole. This one has big rods. This one here is pulled out of an extra. Let's see again. Quadrupole assembly. And its length is also about 21 centimeters. A lot of times on the front end of a quadrupole, you'll have some sort of an orifice voltage lens, and you'll see this discoloration. And that's typically called ion burn. Let's see, quad assembly. And over here, in this long assembly here, we have a triple quad with a detector housing. So, we have a triple quad detector housing here. And we have that same sort of housing here. All right. So the ions would make their way and they would go that there would be a voltage on this entrance plate to the detector. And if we take the detector housing off and take a look. See the detector. More like this. Syx had the same same channel tron detector. And it should be noted that remember the ions are coming through and they're going right through that center of this hole. But how are they being detected? Because the detector is off axis. So there's a, usually a hell of a voltage applied to the detector. The detector being this. That, this is the electron multiplier. And uh, the reason it's off axis is that useless things in the mind of a mass spectrometer uh, such as photons, don't get detected. So looking again at our tabletop of mass spec parts, we have a flock of quads. And you can see the most iron burn is here. This guy here didn't have as much. But uh, this is sort of what a quad looks like when you take it out of an instrument housing. And now we've archived what quads look like.